Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I wanted to make this video on Interactive Brokers uh, SLS opt-out or the double uh, opt-in to be able to opt out of it. Um, it's nice on one hand that Interactive Brokers offers a double opt-in, meaning like when you go to log into your broker, uh, whether it's from a desktop or whether it's by the app, they ask for like a double authentication. So they'll send you a code and then you can you can set it up to do like touch uh, authentication to have it go in. But it's kind of like, it's like a double login. It could be kind of annoying if you're logging in and out. Again, it's a matter of your preference. So it is extra security, which is nice. Uh, on the other hand, if you're trying to log in with your username and the password, and then it sends you a text and then you have to like, uh, go through the authentication process again. It could be a bit cumbersome and sometimes people like to uh, shut that notification off. So I'm gonna show you very simply how to do that. Uh, all you wanna do is you wanna log in <clears throat> to your Interactive Brokers account, right? And what you wanna do is you wanna go to Manage Account, click on Security, then uh, Secure Login Systems, and then you're gonna see SLS opt-out right here. Right? I'm not going to click on it right now. I'm going to show you what it looks like on another page with a picture because uh, it shows account information. So all you, again, want to do is go to Manage Account, Security, Secure Login System, SLS Opt-Out, and then you click on it. When you click on it, you're going to get to the next page and you're going to see this, SLS Opt-Out. All you'll want to do, I actually opted out of it, so I could opt back in. So basically, you just want to click opt out, press continue, and you'll be opted out. Uh, what it basically does is it doesn't allow you to um, uh, trade like uh, over-the-counter stocks without that, uh, you know, OTC. So if you're looking to trade OTC stocks, um, then you're going to want to keep the opt-in or the, uh, yeah, the double opt-in on. But if you're not trading over-the-counter stocks, uh, then you can turn it off. So again, that's really kind of the biggest um, <clears throat> limitation if you shut it off. But you could always go and opt back in by clicking opt-in. Um, but that's how simple it is to turn it off. Um, it's just kind of hard to kind of find it if you don't know. Um, but that's, again, very simple how to go in and um, basically shut off the double opt-in. If you would like, if you'd like to keep it on, then keep it on. But if not, uh, that's how you do it. Uh, again, um, if you're not familiar with us, we have a very large community on Facebook where the bullish bears. Uh, we have a very large, again, community where we teach people how to learn the stock market. Uh, very safe community, very interactive. We're uh, always trying to help people out with learning. Uh, so make sure you come and join us if you haven't already.